So far, we've seen how to perform an electrothermal analysis of an isolated half-bridge inverter by coupling ANSYS Q3D extractor and ANSYS ice pack. We also modified the design of the inverter to increase its reliability. In this video, we'll use the improved design and create a triple IGBT power module. Then we'll add a liquid cooling system to dissipate the heat from the design and run an electrothermal simulation. We'll duplicate our half-bridge inverter and create a triple inverter module in Q3D Extractor. First, bring up the Options window. When this option is checked, the boundary and excitations in the design are also duplicated, along with the geometry. Press O to make sure we're in the Object Selection mode. Then press Ctrl A to highlight the entire geometry. On the Draw ribbon, click the command Duplicate Along Line. Place the cursor near the left vertex of the geometry. When the cursor changes to a square, click to get the first point. We'll duplicate along the z-axis. In the coordinate fields below, enter the translation distance for the duplicated objects. So type 0 in the dx field. Press tab and type 0 in the dy field. Then press tab and type the desired distance in the dz field. Press enter. Now in this dialog, enter the total number of objects. This is a three-phase AC power inverter, so I'll make three copies. So here's the triple IGBT power inverter module. You can see the net assignments are retained for all three inverters. Open the Solve Setup window. I'll define a DC resistance only solution. Open the Edit Sources window. Set the sources on the DC plus and the phase terminals to 100 amps. Copy this design. We'll now paste this design into a new ice pack session. Now I'll create a liquid cooling system to dissipate the heat from the design. You can create this object easily with the primitives and modeler commands on the Draw tab. From the material assignment, this is a water-based cooling system enclosed by aluminum. We'll link the EM power losses from Q3D Extractor to ice pack. Again, the metal objects and alloys like solder are the main sources of joule heat, so we'll include them in the thermal simulation. This time we'll select our triple IGBT power module and Q3D extractor as the source design. To model the airflow across the device, I've assigned opening boundary conditions on the cabinet faces. The ambient temperature is 20 degrees centigrade. The inlet type is set to velocity along the X direction at 1 meter per second. The flow specification is set to pressure for this boundary. To model the circulation of water through the cooling system, I'll assign additional boundary conditions. I'll define an opening to the water inlet port. I've set the inlet type to velocity, and I've specified the x velocity to be negative 0.25 meters per second. I'll now define a boundary condition for this port. I've set the inlet type flow specification to pressure and left it at its ambient value, so that this port will take up all the flow from the other one. I've also defined a solve setup as shown here. Run the simulation now. The current density plot and the temperatures for the triple IGBT power module are shown side by side. These temperatures for the power module seem reasonable. The temperatures are highest for the wire bonds. Potential wire bond failures could decrease the reliability of the IGBT power module. The mismatch in the coefficients of thermal expansion for the aluminum nitride, aluminum, and silicon materials in this design could still cause reliability issues. The good news is that you can perform thermal-induced deformation and stress analysis of this power module in ANSYS Mechanical, as shown here. Thanks for watching.